Hi guys, good to meet you. Um, I'm Tim. I'm a developer evangelist at PayPal, and today I'm going to show you some of our new APIs made for developers, made for hackers. So during the whole event, if you need anything from me, write a message on Twitter to at Sarah Android, write me an email. My details are on the back of these slides. Um, so basically, lots of developers that have been playing with our APIs back like one year ago, two years ago, were looking like this. So it was like, oh my god, these APIs are not really developer friendly. These APIs are made for merchants. And it's kind of true. So we thought about how can we make this all a bit more accessible, a bit easier. We've been dealing a lot with our product teams. We've been working on new stuff. And we launched a new website, developer.paypal.com. Over there, you find new REST APIs. You find native SDKs for your mobile apps. You find application registration, the dashboard, and support. So what can I do with that? At first, because we changed it, we thought we're more like in this situation. And you guys, of course, at some point want to earn money. And hopefully, you just don't want some money. Usually, you want a lot of it. So how do you earn money with us? Firstly, there's our new REST API. We had APIs based on name value pair, on SOAP, that was OK. It was somehow usable, but not really good. So we thought, how can we make that easier? So firstly, our new API is based on OAuth 2. So we use authorization tokens, bearer tokens, to make sure that you get authenticated, so no more like really cryptic tokens passing around in the parameters. Then we use something which is called Hey to Us. Has anybody heard of it? OK, one hand, I guess. Two. So basically, if you think of it, it has a wonderful long name. Hypermedia as the engine of application state. Wow. You can think of it as smart links. So our API is going to tell you how to work with it. So if you do a request, it tells you, OK, I'm a payment. And this is the reference to myself. This is how you can refund me. This is the redirect. So it really tells you, how do you work with our API? Basically, you don't even need a uh, documentation anymore. So of course, you guys need to pass around lots of data. And it should be easy readable. So creating a payment is now as easy as this. You have to define an intent, which is sale, a payer. I come to this object in a sec. Redirect URLs, which is basically your server, and the transactions themselves. So if you want to have a payer who pays with PayPal, you just define that. It's quite easy. You can do direct credit card processing, so you don't even need a PayPal account to use this API. So then you just pass that you want to pay with a credit card. You pass some details, like which kind of credit card is it? Is it a Me uh, MasterCard or a Visa? You pass the expiry month, the year. I shortened this a bit down, but it's quite obvious what it does. The URLs are not too complicated. You need to set up a return URL, which leads to your server once the payment got created, or cancel URL if people decide to not buy now or later. Transactions is an array, because you can do multiple transactions at the same time. You pass an object called amount that has a total and a currency. Right now, we started with US. It's coming to Europe in the next few weeks, so it, it might make sense to test it already on our sandbox. Description, that's it. Now to execute this payment, just uh, execute slash payment, slash payment ID, slash execute. The payment ID is what you get in the response once your payment got created. It's not really difficult. Now, still some people don't want to work on a real API, like the curl feeling. Some people want to just integrate that easily into their service. 
So we got an SDK for Node.js, we got an SDK for Ruby, for Python, for PHP, C Sharp, Java. Uh, I guess that's it. So a lot of different SDKs to make it easy for you to integrate that stuff. Now, some people don't really want to work on APIs. They don't want to work on this all to just easily integrate payments. And we got something we call JS buttons. And these JS buttons are quite awesome because they help you to generate payments in a few seconds. So we got this generator for it. You see there's a very short JavaScript snippet in it. And what we do is we customize it. So let's say my merchant, that's me, I want to receive your payment, is tim at x.com. I say you chocolate. I say you one of that for five US dollars. There is no shipping involved, no tax. I can set the environment, I click on preview, and that's all you, the code that you need to get payment started in your application. This is really easy. You can do the same for subscriptions, you can create a card, you can even do things that are based on QR codes. So if I do this, mobile users can scan your QR code and work with that. So the JS buttons are a very nice way to get that easily started. Now, of course, my slides are gone for some reason. Let's try this. Ah, works. We've got something that's called login with PayPal. Because sometimes you don't just want to have people buying. They should register your service. If I log in with Facebook or with Twitter, often you don't get really valuable data because my address is missing, my name might be wrong, it might be that the email is corrupt. So we got this. If you go to a developer homepage, you see it already. It works. You have to log in with your PayPal account. And what the site gets back is your address, your name, your email. That's all of 2 based. OpenID Connect is in being involved for session management. And what you can basically do that, um, you define different scopes. So you say, I don't need an address. So you don't need to embed it. And this provides you very good user data because we've got right now roughly 130 million users worldwide and you can access all that data. Of course, we're giving away as a surprise here. So if I see a very nice paper integration, I give the team that integrates that up to four spheros. Who knows spheros? Cool, a few of you. So spheros are tiny pro uh, programmable robotic boards that you can control with your, with your smartphone. So there's an SDK for Android, for uh, iOS, I think even for desktop PCs. You connect with Bluetooth and you can like move it around, change the colors, it's very awesome. Here's the links. Go to developer.paper.com, sign up for the sandbox stuff. Go to github.com slash PayPal. All our SDKs are now open source. So if you see that something's not working as you expect it to, check out the source code. We are organizing hackathons uh, ourselves. So Berlin is the next stage on June 8th and 9th called BattleHack. BattleHack.org is the domain. I'm here the whole day. I'm here tomorrow. So come to me, write me an email, write on Twitter that you have a question. I come to you. I'm happy to chat. Thanks a lot. Is there any questions right now? Yeah. Yeah, so um, I, I would just say that you start for the hackathon itself with the US dollars. And once it goes live, which is soonish, I hope in the next few weeks, you can just easily switch to GBP or Euro or whatever you want. Exactly. More questions? No? All right. Thanks a lot. All right, one more round of applause for Tim. Thank you. Appreciate that, Tim. Good stuff. I like PayPal. <laughs>